out of the 15 ECOWAS sub-regional member countries, four have experienced coups leading to their suspension from the regional bloc with 11 remaining. During the meeting to plan military operations in Niger, defense staff chiefs reiterated their commitment to halting the increasing coups in West Africa. ECOWAS Commissioner for Political Affairs, Peace and Security, Dr. Abdel Fatao Musa, pledged to restore democratic rule in Niger. The planning is over virtually. Right now, uh, this meeting is talking about pledges when, you know, uh, potentially we will start marching, you know, toward the country. All the Western countries and all the Eastern countries, right, have condemned the coup, including Ecuador, will prefer the peaceful means. There is a steely resolve among the ECOWAS heads of state to use all possible means to restore constitutional order in Niger and then opt for a negotiated settlement. If they don't do it, then we will enforce restoration. The Chief of Defense Staff of Ghana, that is Vice Admiral Amuama, said that this call by ECOWAS for a consideration of a military intervention is in order because it then will help stem the tide of these rising concerns of coups within the sub-region. The charge by the authority of heads of states and government to activate the standby force is therefore in order and it is in furtherance of our ongoing discussions. The Chief of Defence Staff of Nigeria, who is also the Chair of the ECOWAS Chiefs of Defence Staff, General Christopher Musa, uh, gave the indication that the reason why this has become necessary is because they want to ensure that democracy thrives within the West African sub-region, specifically in some of these countries that have suffered coups. I would like to remind us all that the purpose of our garden is not simply to react to events, but to proactively chart a course that preserves peace, promotes stability, and upholds democratic principles across our region. We must remember that our collective actions today will shape the legacy we leave for future generations. The path that lies before us is not an easy one, but is a path that we must tread nonetheless with courage and determination. Niger has experienced seven jihadist attacks since the coup in July, with the latest one on Wednesday killing 17 soldiers. Ghana's Defense Minister Dominic Nitiwu urged chiefs of defense staff to uphold their state's constitutions. If presidential guards in Guinea and Niger take hostage their president, nobody in West Africa is safe. That is why I urge you to continue to be loyal to your heads of states. I urge you to continue to be loyal to ECOWAS directives and to give effect that the days that coup d'etats enjoy the support of our people are over. The second day of the meeting will spell out details of deployment and logistic plans.